packaging is seen as a bit of a problem at the moment because of ocean plastics pollution and the problem of sustainability in material use, particularly materials that are coming from oil. There is a long way to go because there's an awful lot of plastics manufactured from oil every year, over 300 million tonnes to be precise. The majority of plastic packaging should be recyclable. Unfortunately, if you look at the numbers, between 7% and 9% of all plastics, commodity plastics manufactured, uh, is, is, actually, is actually recycled. So there's an awful lot of it in use. And plastic packaging does a job. It keeps our food on the shelves longer, and therefore it reduces food waste, and that's a positive. However, an awful lot of packaging leaks into our environment or is landfilled, but worse still, plastic is often incinerated. And the incineration of plastic releases carbon that was trapped in that oil deep under the earth. Packaging doesn't have to be the problem. Packaging could actually be the solution. The target is to develop processes, both manufacturing and formulation processes that operate on consuming less energy uh, and less water and the majority of those will come from uh, our bio-based processes. So bio-based materials could be wood or it could be grown as crops like cereal crops. These provide us sugars and oils that we can ferment and we can turn these into uh, based materials that we can turn into polymers and plastics that can replace existing fossil based plastics. And the benefit of both cellulose and the bio-based polymers is they can last as long as they, we want them to, but also we can have them so they biodegrade and compost if they get into the environment. And one example is something that we've developed at CPI, which is a biodegradable packaging material made from a biopolymer. And these trays go out to the likes of Sainsbury's, a Tesco's, a Marks and Spencer's, packaging meat, packaging salads. So our intention would be to replace this PET, so polyethylene tetraphylate, food tray with our biodegradable polymer that effectively you could put the, the meat in the packaging and the packaging itself straight into your compost at home. We're not losing jobs in the UK, we're safeguarding jobs because we're using existing infrastructure uh, existing supply chains, we're just changing the material composition in the formulation. Another solution is smart packaging, whether we're using QR codes, or we're using barcodes, or we're using watermarking or fingerprinting on the material, which helps to store data on the packaging themselves. And this allows improved separation in recycling because you can identify what material it is as it's passing down a conveyor. But for the consumer, Imagine you've received your product for the post and you've now got a packaging that isn't clear to you whether it's recyclable and can be recycled in the local area. So imagine then if you could scan your mobile phone over the, uh, the QR code or the barcode or the, the digital fingerprint, it tells you that this can be recycled in your local area and this is how it's recycled. And not only that, these are the yields and recycling that the local authority are achieving on these particular materials. So it's that level of transparency. Climate change is not going to be solved just by the individual consumer. Climate change needs to be solved from a top-down approach, including big governments, big or global organizations. Everyone's got their part to play. And CPI can help to make those decisions better, to give confidence that the decisions we take are actually having the right level of impact. The overriding solution is a product or a package that is less damaging to the environment, consumes less resources, allows us, the country to be more resilient and creating a sustainable approach uh, for future generations.